What's up guys, Jeebs here. Today we're making a sick video on this sick car. Can you imagine if that was my intro? The other day, my phone was almost dead while I was driving my Tesla and I thought to myself, what would happen if my phone died? Because your phone is the main key when you own a Tesla. In that case, you would just go to the card key, which is the backup. Uh, so this is something you give to the valet or if for some reason you don't have a phone, uh, this would be your key. So then I thought to myself, well, what would happen if I had both keys, I got out of the car and I gave it to a valet or I gave it to my wife and they decided to drive. So today we bring science to the table to get you answers. thing we're gonna do is the key test so I'm going to give Andrew my phone and we are going to only use the key for the car so I just unlocked the car uh, with the key and now that is the only reason the car is driving. So we'll drive off. Everything is working as it should because we're using the key. So now what I'm going to do is package up the key and toss it out the window. Now, I mean, yeah, could I just throw the key out the window? Yeah, but then get all scratched up. And look, this is uh, low budget, so I, I, I don't want to uh, waste a key. So we're going to package it up. It's all safe and throw it out the window. I will pick this up later. I'm not littering at all. But really, I could litter because, you know, I, my car is not polluting, so it's like an offset. Open up the window. Out goes the key. Nothing so far. All right, so now I have no key. <laughs> and no phone in the car. It seems to not know. So no warnings, no anything yet. Guess we're okay. I guess you don't need a key. Let's see what happens when I put the phone in the car. It's kind of crazy. Still says Ben in the top right corner. another key. My phone is with Andrew. So, as so far, I don't see anything. I wonder what happens. If I put it in park, I'm going to do that when I get closer to Andrew. Alright, so we're going to put the car in park now. Yeah, I, I don't see any difference of me having the car in park or doing anything. It just seems to drive like the key is in here. Let's see if we lock it, unlock it. So no issues when I throw the key out of the window. But let's also see what happens if I totally get out of the car. 
Now again, Andrew's still about 100 yards away, so that shouldn't be any interference. So now, for some reason, it is sensed that the key is not in the car. What if you could rev up an EV? Alright, so now it knows the key is not in the car. But for some reason, when you're driving, it doesn't interfere. So I guess the fear is... If you do park the car and you, for some reason, forgot your key, you would be stranded. Okay, so now I have my phone as the key. Andrew has the card. It is nowhere near. Um, and I just unlocked the car and locked the car with, the, with my phone. So what I'm going to do is drive up here, hand it off to Andrew and then drive off and see if anything happens. So with the key, it seemed like after you drove and put it in park, it then realized that you didn't have it, which could be an issue. There you go, sir. Phone is out of the car, but still close to the car. So what happens? when we drive off. So it knows that I'm in the car. Turn on the AC. AC, not heat, Jesus. So far, no issues crazy that's crazy I mean it's not I'm not seeing anything that says hey you don't have your key idiot just driving along something to note too that I just kind of realized if you hold this down one way or the other it will speed up the process of getting it to the temperature you want to get it to <clears throat> but again no issues. Somehow, I should put it in park here. Be a good place to leave it. That was a cool graphic. All right, so we're gonna go. Nice. Screw it. Just go. I'm not seeing any issues again when my phone is not in the car. So I guess when you, if your phone were to run out of battery, which that's not going to happen because you can charge it in, in the charging pad, especially in the Model Y. But it's crazy to me that nothing is happening. I also got a give credit to uh, Autovlog for the video idea. Um, he did this years ago, his Ford Fusion, it got like 17 million views. But I don't do it for the views, folks. I do it for the science. I'm not here for the money, I'm here for the science. Yeah, so he's actually from, he's, well, not originally from Pittsburgh. I think he's from uh, Sweden originally. And he lives in Pittsburgh. I'm originally from Pittsburgh, so I do watch his videos every once in a while. Um, let's see. See what's going home, going on, Dan Tan. Nothing is happening in the in the Model Y so far. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna park it up here. We're gonna get out, and then we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens. Cause this is where it failed last time. So Andrew's about a hundred yards away. So we're back in the car. As you can see, it didn't even lock or anything. So, yeah, so it's, it notices it's gone. After you get out of the car, it notices it's gone. So if you are driving around, you realize for some reason you don't have your key or someone got out of the car, 
and they had the key just keep driving don't don't put it in park because uh, from what i can see that's if you get out of the car uh, that's when the car will lock up and you'll have you'll you won't be able to go anywhere so that's the science for today uh, i was hoping the car would shut down maybe catch fire uh, so i could go viral but you know we just got a baby steps on this channel we're doing baby steps so unfortunately it wasn't too eventful as to what happens when you throw your tesla key or your phone key out the window and there's no key in the car uh, nothing happens from what i can see as long as you don't put it in park and get out of the car and then get back in you'll be okay so for some reason you know you drop your wife off at the mall or a prostitute or whatever and you drop her off and they get out of the car or your wife wife drops you off because women can also drive regardless of what you're doing it doesn't seem to be an issue as long as you don't put it in park so if that does happen to you keep it in drive drive around whatever and then you can figure it out that way or park it in a safe area off the street and you shouldn't have any issues but i was thinking to myself the other day you know science gave us the answer you know, science science is science is not about clout science is about truth that's what we brought you today please like the video if you're still watching if you if you don't like the video nothing's gonna happen but it would benefit me if you liked it so thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video people have asked me ben How'd you become a sexual figure in the millennial generation? It's very simple. I have these basic t-shirts by Into the AM and the men's basic joggers. Quite frankly, it's the finest, most comfortable material I've ever been in my life. In my life. You can get yours today with 10% off using the discount code down in the description. You're welcome.